Hey guys, it's Empress. How you doing? <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Okay. Um, thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribe, guys. And please subscribe me to every platform there is. I'm open for bookings, okay? I am doing spiritual advisory work now for $50. Okay, go back and look at my video I just made. Um, you can contact me at 346-465-5990. And you can cash out me at dollar sign Empress Shay Shay, okay? Guys, I'm coming on to let you know what... Your ancestors want you to know. Okay. Um, I have a heavy, heavy feeling of an energy of someone is playing with your finances, your third eye. For a lot of us that don't know what your third eye is, it's your intuition. Okay. Um, messing with your throat chakra so you won't be able to speak. You know, sometimes when you speak and you fumble over your words and things of that nature, that's someone that's trying to do spell work against whatever you have going on. I'm hearing someone is monitoring your accounts. Um, they want a piece of the action is what I'm channeling. Um, it's, it could be a family member that's around you or someone that you could think that they're a friend. Um... What else, Holy Spirit? Okay. This is all what your ancestors want you to know. And it may be two people, guys. What I'm picking up on the energy of when I pull my ancestry cards, it's two people that's deceased that's trying to give you the message. But I'm hearing you not taking heed to the warning. It's a male and a female. And the male, what I'm getting, could be a Caucasian male. You don't have to be, but that's the energy I'm feeling. And it's a female. Um, she may have long black hair. This other person may have blonde hair. Um, and it could be a baby that you lost also. That's trying to... Um, guys, it is a baby because, you know, one of my cards, I have my right away cards behind this iPad and it moved by itself. So it is a baby also that's trying to contact you and let you know your lost baby girl is what I hear. Oh, guys, I just got chills. That's trying to warn you about someone. Okay. Um, I feel like you've been in a lot of um, battles with this person. It's your ancestors saying. So maybe you've been in a lot of arguments with this person in the past. Or um, maybe you feel like you're tired of battling things. Or maybe you're battling illness, sickness. Illness and sickness, same thing. But um, maybe the hospital, um, maybe you went to the hospital with your baby. And they gave you the wrong information. And they, they could have saved the baby, but they didn't. And it's making you... Um, really have you really battling with that i feel that energy um i feel maybe you've hid this from someone this is what your ancestors want you to know they want you to know to release that use your use your mindset and release the way you're feeling because it's um it's destroying your health okay this is what your ancestors want you to know and that you have forgiveness the universe and the Holy Spirit has forgiven you. Look at this. Your Father has forgiven you. The Holy Spirit has forgiven you. Um, and you need to get more into your spirituality and or religion, whatever you prefer, you know, to do. But I'm here and one of these people are in the arts. The arts in my world is spirituality, the occult. Okay. You need to get in contact with nature more. Um, you need to stop overeating. I'm hearing you're overeating and stressing due to not having faith and trust in the Holy Spirit. Okay. And then I'm hearing, see, I told you guys, look at come out. Finances. 
someone is trying to do work on your finances. Okay, maybe dark magic. Maybe just speaking ill intent. See, a lot of people think that magic is like, I always say like supernatural, something big, something falling from the sky. No. Um, it could be just a person having strong, ill intent, and they can speak it on your finances or speak it on you. That's why you must. It is a must. I cannot stress that enough. It is a must for you guys to ground yourself, to protect yourself, especially when you're doing spiritual work. I cover my head when I speak to my clients, okay? They don't know I'm covering my head, but that's for protection, okay? Um, it's a lot of things that you can do to protect yourself. You can burn different herbs, okay, guys? That's why I'm here for spiritual advice, but you have to call me about that, okay? Um, I'm hearing that the ancestors are warning you about um, your infidelity. This is a lot of different messages, guys. So it, take all of them and piece them how you can within your life because I'm just giving you a lot of downloads. This is not about one specific person. It could be about a group of people, okay? So um, also the, your ancestors want to warn you about whoever you um, committed infidelity with on your spouse. You need to watch yourself with that person also, okay? And I just tell you, your love life is getting strange. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. And <clears throat> I have these cards, guys. I haven't used this in a while. At the bottom of the deck, wouldn't you know, it says write a gratitude list. Didn't Empress tell you that? I didn't even know this card was in this deck. Okay. Didn't I tell you to write a gratitude list? This and other things that your ancestors want you to know. Okay? You need to start being grateful for a lot of things in your life. And your ancestors feel like you're not being grateful to a lot of things. For my ones that may be business owners or may be having their money come through the way they want. I have multiple, strength, multiple strands of income. Um, you need to protect yourself also and be grateful. Okay, it's a lot of things to be grateful for, guys. Um, make sure you say positive affirmations every morning, every night. I say mine. I try to say mine throughout the day. Okay, you can say I love myself. I'm very beautiful. I'm very grateful. I'm very healthy and happy. Um, I'm grateful for just smelling the, the trees, the air. Okay, I'm worthy of someone loving me. You know, these are the things you speak it as though you speak it as though they shall be. Okay, um, you need to make a vision board. Okay, make a vision board. You can make it on paper, however you want to do, just to basically your goals. Okay, what you see, what you visualize for yourself. In the next six days, six hours, six months. You know, you can start off very small, guys. It doesn't have to start off very big. Because when you look at the big picture, sometimes it stresses you. You know, so, okay, just like with me and my, and my health and my weight, I start off small. Yeah, it's sort of like, okay, it's taking long, but that's okay. You know, nothing happens overnight. Your finances is not going to happen overnight. Your multiple strands of income is not going to happen overnight. Just take your time, guys, but make a vision board so you could be able to go back and see the things that you have accomplished, and you can check it off. Okay, I accomplished this. I accomplished this. It may not be where you want it to be right now, but at least you are accomplishing those things, okay? And, oh, my God, have deep, breathe deeply, okay? Breathe in. And release. And guys, I tell you no lie. You're going to kind of feel lightheaded if you do it correctly. But I'm telling you, this works along with your meditation. At night, look at the stars. Open up your curtains. You know, look at the stars. Those are things that also you need to be grateful for. Be grateful that you can walk outside at night. Be grateful that you're protected enough to walk outside at night. Okay? 
just because I say spell work don't mean that a person is going to be, um, how I say that, they're going to be, um, that it's going to work. I can't think right now, guys. But um, it doesn't mean that they're going to, okay, I'm going to pursue spell work and it's going to actually work. That It don't work like that. When you protect yourself, especially when you're an illuminate one, they're basically wasting their time. Okay, because this is what your ancestors want you to know. They are catching this person in the act, but they want you to be mindful and aware of it. And this is why I'm putting this message out. And look at the bottom of the deck. Meditate. I know you guys are getting tired of me saying meditate, meditate. Look at this next card out. Ground yourself. Spend time with animals. Do energy work. Write a journal. And clean your energy field. Okay? And I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to tell you, I made my own Florida water. Okay? And I'm going to tell you something. That is cleansing your energy field. I tell my clients this all the time. Your energy field is your surroundings. Okay? Like, let's say if you're in a cubicle at work. I just channel someone maybe in a cubicle at work. Take some some um i i can you can purchase it from me okay you take the florida water you rub it on yourself you say an affirmation to yourself okay or a prayer whatever you're comfortable with okay you have to do such things especially if you're spiritual because this will banish those spiritual attacks against your life against your kids against your finances against your car i'm hearing people even putting spells against your car to break down you know, it's psychos, sick people out there. I I'm so serious. And that jealousy and that hatred and that envy is destructive. And when they speak that on you, you have to be prepared. You have to wake up with your full body armor in this realm. Because you don't even know who's attacking you. The ancestors are telling me, you're not even aware of all these attacks. That's why the Holy Spirit is telling me to come and, and make you and warn you of this. Okay? I'm about to leave it there, guys. This energy have me in a different, in a different zone. I was just in a different realm. Light and love.